Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. We've reached our midweek uh, part of our series of uh, reflections on some opening verses in chapter 40 of the book of the prophet Isaiah. Now I remember, uh, gosh, it's almost 15 years ago now, uh, my first uh, pastoral visit uh, as, as an authorized minister. Uh, I visited a woman uh, by the name of Sandy, and I think I spent about three hours uh, at her house uh, visiting with her. And I think in those three hours, uh, I might have said three or four words. <laughs> uh, this woman, Sandy, liked to talk, and uh, she spent most of our visit talking. And uh, at the end of our visit, she gave me a hug and said, thank you, thank you so much, thank you for everything. And uh, I remember thinking as I got in my car and drove home, uh, I didn't really do anything. I just kind of sat there and, uh, and you did all the talking. But of course, as, uh, as I uh, got older and became a little bit more experienced and had more uh, chances to offer uh, pastoral care, I, I came to the realization that, uh, that in that very first pastoral visit, of course I did something. I listened and uh, I spent most of the visit listening, but of course I learned Again, as I, I got more experience of that, that is probably the most important part of, of offering care uh, to one another is, is not talking so much, but doing a lot more listening. And I mention this uh, because of these uh, particular verses in chapter 40. Uh, the author writes, Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. And, and scholars note that uh, uh, the detail in these verses is that the author uh, knows that the people of Judah have received a harsh judgment, a harsh punishment, perhaps even an unfair uh, punishment in relation to their actions that, that maybe even God has has treated them unfairly. Um, but the point that scholars note in these verses is, is that uh, the author has included these details that the author knows, uh, understands the pain uh, of the people of Judah, that the author indeed has, has paid attention, uh, paid attention enough, listened enough to be able to know uh, what is going on, to really get a feel for and an understanding of of the people's pain. And I think that's an important, uh, important element to point out uh, that uh, this, this uh, author is not just offering words of comfort, but that these words of comfort uh, grow out of uh, a deep attention, a deep uh, a listening uh, first. And, and I think that's a wonderful lesson uh, of course, for all of us, uh, there's a saying that says that uh, when you preach, uh, you should preach or remember that you're preaching with one mouth and two ears. And I think that's, uh, well, that's true, not just for preaching, but for all aspects of ministry and, and for all aspects of our life together as a faith community uh, to remember uh, in our encounters with one another, uh, in our relationship, in our community life together, that indeed we have uh, one mouth and two ears, and, and perhaps we might uh, use our ears a little bit more. So my, my thought for the day is just to ask in your, in your family, in our faith community, in your, uh, in your weekly uh, routines, uh, who needs your ears? Amen.